Hi, this is Mrs. Day Mercado, and today I am reading to you pages 260 to 279 of The One and Only Ivan. Moving. My eyes flutter open. The box is moving. I am in the grumbling belly of some great beast. I fall back asleep. Awakening. I wake to glass and steel. It's a new cage, not unlike my old cage, except that it's much cleaner. Maya's here, and other humans I recognize. Hey there, Ivan, Maya says. He's coming too, guys. I have three walls of glass. The fourth wall is a curtain of wooden slats strung together. This doesn't look like the zoos on TV. Where are the other animals? Where are the gorillas? Is this where Ruby ended up? In a cage just like her old cage? Still alone? Is she cold? Hungry? Sad? Is there anyone to tell her stories when she can't get to sleep? Missing. I miss my old cozy cage. I miss my art. But most of all, I miss Bob. My belly's cold without him. Food. The food is fine here. No soda, though, or cotton candy. Not famous. I have no visitors here, no sticky-fingered children or weary parents. Only Maya and her humans come with their soothing voices and soft hands. I wonder if I've stopped being famous. Something in the air. Endless days pass and then I notice something, a change. I don't know what it is, but I taste it in the air, like far off rain clouds gathering. A new TV. Maya brings me a TV. It's better than my old one. She turns it on. I think you're gonna like this show, she says, smiling. I'm hoping for a romance or maybe a Western, but it's a nature show, one without human voices or ads. It's a show about gorillas being gorillas. I watch them eat and groom and play fight. I even watch them sleep. I wonder why Mac never put on this channel, The Family. Every day I watch the gorillas on the TV screen. It's a small family and an odd one, just three females and a juvenile male without a silverback to protect them. They groom each other and eat and sleep, then groom each other some more. They're, con they're a contented group, placid and good natured, although like any family, they bicker from time to time. Excited. This morning, for some reason, there is no gorilla show on TV. Maya and the other humans are excited. They chirp like birds at dawn. Today's the day, they say. I watched many humans watch me, but never have they looked so happy. Maya goes to the wall of wooden slats. She grins goofily. She pulls a string. What I see. Gorillas. Three females and a juvenile male. It's the family I've been watching, but they're not on a TV screen. They're on the other side of the glass, watching me, watching them. I see me, lots of me, still there. I cover my eyes, I look again, they're still there, watching. Every day I watch them through my window the way my visitors used to watch me. See how they chase, groom, see how they play, sleep, see how they live. They're graceful the way Stella was, moving just enough, only as much as they need. They stare at me, heads tilted, pointing and hooting. And I wonder, are they as fascinated by me as I am by them? She. Her hoots make my ears hurt. I admire her intact canines from afar. Her name is Kinyani. She's faster than I am, spry and probably smarter, although I'm twice her size, and that too is important. She is terrifying and beautiful, like a painting that moves. Door. Today the humans lead me to a door. On the other side, Kinyani and the others wait for me. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready to be a silverback. I'm Ivan. Just Ivan, only Ivan. 
I decide it's not a good day to socialize. I'll try again tomorrow. Wondering. All night I lie awake, wondering about Ruby. Has she already walked through a door like the one I'm facing? Was she as scared as I am? Scared the way she must have been that day she fell in the hole? I think of Ruby's endless curiosity and of the questions she loved to ask. Have you ever danced with a tiger, Ivan? Will your fur turn blue? Why doesn't that little boy have a tail? If Ruby were here with me, she'd be asking, what's on the other side of that door, Ivan? Ruby would want to know, and she would have been through that door by now. Ready. Want to try again, Ivan? Maya asks. I think of Ruby, and I tell myself, it's time. The door opens. Outside at last. Sky. Grass. Tree. Ant. Stick. Bird. Dirt. Cloud. Wind. Flower. Rock. Rain. Mine. 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 Oops. I sniff. Approach strut a bit, but the others don't welcome me. They have sharp teeth and loud voices. Did I do something wrong? Kinyani chases me. She throws a stick at me. She corners me. I know that she's testing me to see if I'm a true silverback, one who can protect her family. I cower and hide my eyes. Maya lets me back into my cage. What it was like. I lie awake and try to remember what it was like being a gorilla. How did we move? How did we touch? How did we know who was boss? I try to think past the babies and the motorbikes and the popcorn and the short pants. I try to imagine Ivan as he might have been.